March session is on praying for children, teenagers, and adults. Before we start today, we just want to bless the name of God for his mercies and his loving kindness over us all. We worship him, we adore him, we thank him for yesterday, today, and forever. We thank him for our individual lives, our families, our communities, our place of work, our children's learning um, places. We thank God for our nations and the world in general, that despite all that is going on, we still trust God because he's able to keep us from all harm and evil. Father, we just thank you. We worship and adore you. We give you praise. For there is no other God besides you. You are from everlasting to everlasting. Glory, honor, power, and adoration belong to you. Thank you, Father. We do not take anything for granted, O oh God. Even the fact that we are alive is only by your grace and your mercies. Thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for all that you have been doing in our lives. We worship and we adore you and we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we've given thanks. Tonight, we'll be looking at, um, before we start the session, we'll be looking at the scenario of Family A. I must say that this um, scenario is, um, is a, a hypothetical family, not real. but And the pictures, photos used are the photos from the internet just to um, portray what... Um, we are trying to create the awareness that we are um, trying to um, create. So I'd like to introduce you to family A that consists of the father, the mother, and the children. Meet Mr. A, who is the father in the family, a hardworking man with a uh, business of his own, um, working very hard, almost um, 365 days in a year to provide financial stability for his family and he tries to um, and, um, um, build his home uh, but is um, hardly there for them and also he has some emotional baggages from the death of his first wife but he's happy that his second wife is um, taking care of his children and then meet mrs a who is a career oriented woman she has her own business and also working a nine-to-five job and also um, tries to juggle family work and everything together her husband is hardly at home but they communicate one way or the other but she has some issues with her teenage her stepdaughter who is 18 going 21. Though she tries to engage her uh, to develop a, a relationship, but it's, she finds it difficult. However, she's uh, um, well um, in, in sync with uh, the rest of the children, a stepson who is a teenager and also her own twins. Meet young adult A, meet, uh, young adult. She's 20, 18 and she feels that nobody can tell her what to do. She's an adult and she can do whatever she wants to do. In fact, if not for the um, um, issue of money, she would have left home and moved in with her 22 year old whom she met over the internet. And she's recently been going through some emotional um, instability as well as she misses her mother who is dead and then her father no longer has the time for her. She doesn't get along with her um, stepmom and she's just finding life a bit too tough. And then meet um, boy A who is a teenager in the house or going teenager in the house is a very um, happy chap um, doing what most teenagers do, trending, wearing trending fashions, active in school and sports. Uh, whoever lately has been feeling lonely because of his, the age group between him and his siblings, his older sister and his younger um, um, brothers. He recently met a boy from his old neighborhood who um, seems to be there for him. They talk and they do hang around and do some stuff and then feel uh, meet between A and B, the children in the house, twins that... Um, Ever since they've been born, they do things together. But lately, they find out that though they are twins, they are different. One is outspoken and the other is um, quite observant and quiet. And they also discover that they are also um, experiencing new things, liking different things. And um, there's a girl in their class by the name of Minnie who is 
quite a challenge for them as he's telling them to do things that their parents have told them not to do. For example, not to lie. But many says that you can and you can get away with it. So that the dilemma is, is who to obey, many or their parents and their uh, their parents who say um, lying is not good. Now, alarm bells. Mrs. A comes on Monday to find out that the laundry she told one of the children to do has been left undone. And while she's going through it, she finds a, a half-smoked uh, weed among the clothes. And the question is, who is smoking in the house? Now, the pointers are, what is your child doing that you are unaware of? What signs are there that you cannot read? Should you be scared, worried, confrontational, or speak with them and not to them? You know, when things go on, we tend to start um, thinking um, what's going on, what to do, and all. Oh, but we'll be speaking about that later. And then Mrs. A informs her husband when he eventually comes in about what she found. And after a few clues, they both conclude that yes, the culprit is adult A, the um, Miss A. They confront her and she denies it and they do not trust her because of the many things she's been doing lately. And they've told her that in, try, in order to prove her innocence, she has to take a drug test. Miss A is very disappointed that no one trusts in her or believes her. The point as to us as parents is that do we take time to listen to our children? Do we compare our child with their other siblings, with their siblings or other children? Are we willing to listen to our ch child without being judgmental or jump to conclusion? You know, when a child does something and then you pick on that child, everything, something else goes wrong that, ah, you did this then, it definitely is you. We shouldn't be like that. We should also always speak with our children and find out what is going on. And the unexpected happens. Mr. A comes home um, unexpectedly one day and he finds um, the teenage in the house watching porn and smoking weed. What a shock for them all. And um, I think I've moved away from the pointer, but the pointer is that do we confront the issue? Do we tackle the issue? Do we discuss the issue? Or do we start thinking, oh, what will people think? We must hide this. We shouldn't let everybody know. Or should we seek help? Or do we just pretend that nothing is going wrong? It's just the devil. We need to be vigilant. Um, this scenario is just to create an awareness for us, like an eye-opener for us as parents and guidance to realize that the unseen issues in our family. We are not to sweep things under the carpet, but we are to um, address issues as they come along and also intercept negative influence of social media. But I believe that God is going to help us as we introduce the speaker for tonight, Ulubo Yegao Yosi, who will be talking with us about his experience and also um, sharing things regarding teenage um, issues with teenagers. Thank you and God bless. Over to you, Ulu Yegosi. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming on to this program tonight, where we look at how to address some of the issues faced by teenagers. I'd like to say, first of all, that it's impossible to totally address all the issues tonight, but we just want to use this to create an awareness of the issues and the support that's available to address these issues. Um, focusing on teenagers, we want to look at some of the issues faced by teenagers from the scenario presented, the importance of good and effective communication and building up a good relationship with your child or children and also knowing that you know there is help available for us yes there is definitely help available for us i'd like to start by saying that children are gifts from god and a reward of him from him psalm 127 verse 3 declares and just like in the natural, we talk of um, we talk of um, machineries having manuals. 
so that when there is a fault, you can go back to the uh, to the manual or go to the guarantee and speak to the company that made it to be able to see how uh, the machinery can be repaired. In likewise manner, we have God as the creator of our children. And if there are any issues of concern, we are able to go back to him and he will definitely intervene speedily for us in the name of Jesus. And we're trusting that um, as we look at some of these issues, we're considering the developmental stage, behavior pattern of this uh, unique age group. What is peculiar to them being that they love uh, they, they they want to be independent quickly. Um, there's a greater self-awareness and they're quite impressionable. Some may act naive or some may act as if they are streetwise, but you know, with the experience of the parents and carers, it still goes a long way in terms of helping and supporting them. Want us to know that it is important for us also to have good relationship, a good relationship with our children as parents and carers of the guardian. Um, we take interest, keen interest in what they do, spend time with them, we listen to them, and know what's going on in their life. We know also that some are in schools, some may not be in um, a mainstream school. Or some are going through some form of education. So it's important that we have links with the school as well. We speak to the school, the teachers, and have an understanding of how their behavior is when they are not at home. Um, one of the issues that Randy present tonight regarding this uh, teenage A is peer pressure and substance misuse. I am from a background where I work with young people that have offended. And usually they're between the ages of 12 and 18. And some of them have to have custodial sentences. Um, believe it or not, it is a big challenge for parents because one of the one of the questions parents want to know is where they have gone wrong. Um, as, as you can imagine that um, the situation did not start in one day. So there have been definitely things that they have missed or ignored or failed to take recognition of uh, areas of concern that they would have quickly nipped in the board. But being that they didn't pay attention to some of these things, it just went out of control. I want to draw some cues from the word of God tonight uh, from Genesis 18, 19. Uh, God saying concerning Abraham saying to us for, I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, that they will keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. The promise of God concerning our children will be fulfilled, but we need to remind him of these promises. Remember, regardless of what we see, regardless of how the situation presents, we remind God of problems, uh, of the promises. So the challenges, there are challenges, but there's also supports available. There's a scripture that rightly comes to mind that says, well, men slept, the enemy came to us. So as there are issues in our community and society today because of the work of the devil on, on, on children. And these cannot be overemphasized. And, I want to ask us today, who is influencing our child? Who is influencing our child? It's my prayer tonight that whatsoever the wrong influence around our children, the Lord will see there. We know one of the big influence of our time is social media. And the impact of social media could be by either positive or negative, uh, depending on what it is used for. But one thing is sure that we must begin to ask our children, uh, ask ourselves, who, is, who or what is influencing our children and begin to set some uh, parameters in place where some of this can be uh, addressed. What sort of environment are we exposing them to? Um, um, what sort of friendships are around them? And 
what what are their what are their influences or what are they what are their you know what are their background of these influences around our children i'm praying that the spirit of god will grant us more wisdom and direction in terms of how to tackle some of these issues so by creating awareness our moderator has presented an hypothetical situation looking at family a the makeup and focusing on teenager A and the issues it presents. How do we begin to address this situation? We're not in denial, there's a problem because the gap has been created, a gap that's been left for so long and now it's caused a problem. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm an, an advocate of early intervention, which means identifying and providing, providing effective early support for children and young people who are at risk of poor outcomes. So effectively early intervention works to prevent problem occurring or to tackle them head on when they do um, before the problem get worse. It also helps us to foster a whole set of personal strength skills that prepare a child for adulthood. So what do we do? How do we begin to approach this? We advocate prayer and we advocate action. So we're praying for them and also taking action. Taking action, looking at what we need to do in the physical and also addressing the spiritual through prayer. It's never too late to start. When I ask how do we pray, start the conversation, remind God of his promises and begin to talk to God about our children. Seek help, seek counsel and the Lord will help us. As we assess the situation, we talk to our children, we have a plan of what we want to do, and we plan to intervene early enough, and uh, we, we repeat the process if need be, until the job is done, and we are constantly reviewing what impact um, uh, this we are making. One of the issues with young people these days is who to trust. Teens today struggle with trust issues. Many of them don't feel like they can turn to their parents for advice. That leaves the teen extremely vulnerable. We can help them by encouraging them to talk to, uh, uh, to other adults that we trust, point them in the direction of a counselor, coach, or respect, a respectable friend. Uh, they need trustworthy mentor to guide them. We can't give what you don't have. So as you begin to seek role model, the Lord will guide us as well. People are getting quite desensitized to things like drugs and violence. Uh, as we see in our community, that knife crime has gone has become something else. And when you ask why people carry knives, they say, oh, we're carrying it for our own protection. It's obvious that no one carries knife for their protection, especially a young person. Uh, we were uh, we not in a, in a kind of trade or, or in a profession that uses weapon. Most of the time, the weapons are directed at them uh, to hurt them or harm them in a very severe way. Um, so it seems like children are dangerously desensitized these days. Um, we ask ourselves, what more can we do? Parents are asking, where do we go? Where did we go wrong? Look at ways of we look at ways to stop the desensitization towards violence, sex, and social media, and offering guidance and support. Asking them about their friendships and friend, knowing who they hang around, who influences your child, um, making them a priority, and looking at all these gaps. As we see from child day, we're looking at all the gaps that's been created that has meant that the child is now gravitating towards negative peer group and presenting the positive alternatives and, um, uh, to all this. Um, tonight we go to their maker and we are going to ask for help. God is the maker. The Bible says the blessings of God makes rich and comes with no attachment of sorrow. There'll be no attachment of, the, of sorrow to our children in the name of Jesus. Scripture says, for I know the plans I have for each and every one of those children, plans to prosper them, not to harm them, plans to give them a hope and a future. 
It's my prayer that we will not labor in vain or bear children for calamity. For these are the offspring which the Lord himself has blessed. He says they will increase in wisdom, they will increase in stature and in favor before God and man. We pray concerning every aspect of their life. We keep praying and talking to God, even in spite of anything that we might see, we keep asking him for, you know, for divine intervention. The Bible says, our seed shall be mighty upon the earth, generation of the upright shall be blessed. Our seed shall be mighty, they will be taught of the Lord, and grace shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. So we come with good promises of God to combat all the issues presented. No power of hell will pull down what we are building in Jesus' name. Every plant my father has not planted, the fire of God will destroy completely, and he will see there every link between his children and the world trying to destroy them in Jesus' name. No weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against them in judgment, we condemn in Jesus' name because they are the heritage of the servants of the Lord and the righteousness of me, says the Lord. Yes, we believe that everything is working together for our good or for the good of our children in the name of Jesus. So what do we do? How, we begin, how do we begin to approach this issue? As I said to us that we cannot afford to give up. We cannot, we cannot, uh, we cannot afford to give up. Um, some youths also struggle with motivation and confidence to move forward. Um, this is where the parents and carers come into play. We we'll keep them engaged. We we'll keep them entertained. We keep them interested in line with what we believe God is leading them to. What interests them? Some people get easily bored and can be easily distracted. So. What do we begin to do? Well, how do we how do we approach the stress, the depression, the anxiety, the self harm linked to social media, poor self worth that some of the children present with? In our community here, we have what we call the child adolescent mental health services, um, which our schools are able to provide us links with. We also have uh, churches, leaders, youth clubs. And they're able to sign posts to relevant organizations that, uh, that will be able to support our children in, in all their pursuits. We do not assume anything. We don't assume anything. So we believe that the Spirit of God will guide us. The Spirit of God will guide us in all that we'll do in the name of Jesus. So we are trusting God that he will guide us and uh, perfect all that concerns us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our children. We plead the blood of Jesus upon their schools. We plead the blood of Jesus upon their places of uh, recreation. We plead the blood of Jesus upon all their carers. Uh, we declare that it shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. Thus we present the student unto you tonight, Lord, you begin to turn things around in their favor, in the name of Jesus. What says you will contend with those that are contend with us and you will save our children. Uh, you will save them from violent men in school, in homes, as they sleep, you will keep them safe in the name of Jesus. You give them good health. You deliver them from the evil one in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus exempt them from every evil in the name of Jesus. We decree that our children shall do well. They are above only and never be made in the name of Jesus. Their life will give glory to God in the name of Jesus. So we are thanking God first that they are a gift. And because they are a gift, we know that it's, they are going to do well in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All our children shall be taught of the Lord and grace shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus for our children that the mercy of God will be with them, that the Lord will see from them every unrighteously in the name of Jesus. Our seed shall thrive. They will be fruitful. They will be abundant. They will not wither. They will flourish. Our seed shall become productive. They will be successful and profitable. They will do well 
in the name of Jesus. And we are thanking God ahead because the Lord is able to turn everything around. The enemy shall not exert upon them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lamentations 2.19 says, Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out thy heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards him for the life of our children. For the life of our children, Father, we come to you tonight. We say, Lord, you will show them mercy. We declare that our children will be for signs and they will be for wonders. It shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with them in their going out. It shall be well with them in their coming in. We are asking in the name of Jesus that you will favor them. In all matters of wisdom and understanding, they will be found ten times better than their peers. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you, God Almighty, because the blood of Jesus will speak for every child for every home that is represented in the name of Jesus. The spirit of perversion and distraction will not find them in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, we pray that they'll be delivered from the evil of technology mismanaged that is destroying teenagers and their passion for God. In the name of Jesus, we survive every evil craving, evil addiction from their life in the name of Jesus. They will be guided in their friendships and their relationship in the name of Jesus. We ask for increase of God's wisdom upon their life. Oh, they will, they will be not be companions of fools in the name of Jesus. They will walk with wise in the name of Jesus. The Lord, you will favor them. You will favor them in their going out. You will favor them in their coming in. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, how we're grateful because this one's a blessing from you. We uproot every plant which my Father has has not planted from their life in the name of Jesus. Our children shall be mighty in the land. Our children are blessed in the name of Jesus. Our children will not be victims. Their destiny will not be truncated or terminated in the name of Jesus. The Lord will protect them in the name of Jesus. This is our prayer. This is our desire. And we'll continue to lift the children up to you, God, that when they lie down, their sleep shall be sweet, none shall make them afraid in the name of Jesus. And we are trusting you, God Almighty, because you said, except the Lord builds, the labor in vain that build. Father, Lord, that we might not labor in vain. Come and help us to build, oh God. Thank you, because we can probably say that if it has not been God that has been on our side, ah, if it has not been God on our side, Oh, thank you because you did not give us as a prey unto the enemy's teeth. We glorify and exalt your name, O oh God Almighty. Today, as we lift up our teenagers, as we pray for our children, it shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. We commit every area of their life unto you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, say you pour your spirit, pour your spirit upon our children, our descendants. They will not bring shame to the name of the Lord. You said you pour water upon him that is thirsty. Ah, every dry area of their life, Lord, pour your water, water of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we lift our heart and thanksgiving for your faithfulness to us and our children. Yes, thank you, Father. Yes, you said the captives shall be delivered. That is where we pray for those that are hooked on substances. Isaiah 49, 25 to 26 says, yes, the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. Oh, yes, we thank you. We thank you. But this is what the Lord says. Yes, the captives will be taken from the warriors and the plunder retrieved from the fears. I will contend with those that contend with you and I will save your children. I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine, as, flesh, as their own flesh shall know that the Lord God is our Savior, our Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time. Thank you. Because, Lord, our children shall be for signs and for wonders, for testimony in the name of Jesus. We will not sorrow over them. With long life, you will grant unto them. With good health, you will grant unto them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we declare that all matters, all matters of wisdom and understanding, they shall be found ten times better than their peers. Oh, they'll be found ten times better than their peers. Oh, yes, the mercy of God upon them will intercept the work of the enemy, targeted against them in any way. Let your mercy intercept every work of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, oh, we thank you that the spirit of perversion and destruction will not find them. In the name of Jesus, oh, yes, we thank you that your mercy will be upon them. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you, Father. 
We glorify and exalt your name, O oh God, for tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing. Thank you because for forever we will praise you on behalf of our children, on behalf of our youth. Thank you because it shall be well. It shall be well concerning them in the name of Jesus. Glory, honor, adorations, which are, which are moderator might be bringing to attention later, but let's remember that the support is there for us and let's let's use it let's use it let's intervene early let's let's be let's be uh, uh, the right guys for these children and the lord himself will help us in jesus name amen god bless you so now we're going to pray um um I don't, uh, I don't know what um, situation anybody is, but one thing is sure, we are asking God for intervention. We are asking God for help tonight. We are praying and decreeing over our children. I've got three prayers. Our children shall be taught of the Lord and grace shall be their peace. He says, so I know the plans I have for them, plans to prosper them and not to harm them plans to give them hope and a future. He says that we will not labor in vain. So let's take this time to pray for children in our care and also ask the mercy of God upon these children that as they grow, they will grow in wisdom. They will grow in stature and favor with God. That the Lord will see there from them every unrighteous relationship in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will choose their friends for them. The Lord will guide them in every step that they take. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will guide them with their friendship, that uh, the Lord will take the desire for things that are not of him away from their heart. In the name of Jesus, it says our children shall be mighty upon the land. Uh, we are the generation of the, the generation of the righteous, of the upright shall be blessed. And we trust him that our, our own case will not be an exception. We are asking God himself to step in, no matter how it is that tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you for all the children that are linked to people that are on this platform tonight. I will present before you, God Almighty, you said, except the Lord builds, the labor in vain that builds. That we might not labor in vain. We ask that you will help us with our children, guide and direct the parents, guide and direct the children, influence their heart, and make their hearts pliable for your word in the name of jesus says our children shall be taught of you lord we pray for good health for these children we pray for protection we pray that you will preserve them we pray that they will fulfill their destiny in the name of jesus we pray that your mercy will be upon them in the name of jesus we pray oh god almighty that you be well with parents and carers that everything that they will need to nurture these children that you will provide for them in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will bless our children. Bless our children. Bless all the children that care. In the name of Jesus, that Lord God, that you can say, like you said of Abraham, that I know him, that he will, that he will command his children after him. Lord God Almighty, that Lord, you will help us. In the name of Jesus, we decree that no weapon of the enemy that is formed of fashion against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus, the weapon of the enemy fashion against our children, against their careers, against their well-being, against their health, against everything concerning their life in the name of Jesus. That shall be well with them because all things are working together for our children in the name of of Jesus. And as parents here, here, Lord, whatever state they are, Lord, encourage them that they will not lose out, they will not give up in the name of Jesus, that you will continue to help us and direct us in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not cast our young in the name of Jesus. Oh, we will not cast our young and none shall be barren. You've promised, oh God, that Lord, you will touch everyone that is looking unto you as well for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, you said you will bless our bread, you will bless our water and take sickness away from it. We pray for children at this time that might be sick. We pray, oh God Almighty, for good health for them. 
in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our homes. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the places of learning of our children. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the places of recreation in the name of Jesus, that it will be well with our children. It will be well with them in their going out. It will be well with them in their coming in. The enemy shall not exert upon them in the name of Jesus. Our seed shall do well. They will be above only in the name of Jesus. Oh, that there will be a pouring of your spirit upon them in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, that the, that, the, that the world, the world and the cares and the desires of this world will not, not take hold of their heart in the name of Jesus, that you will fight for them. In the name of Jesus, you will fight for them, that you bring them excellence in the academic work, they will, in the spiritual growth, in the love for you, in the name of Jesus. Perhaps there might be some that might have gone wayward at this time, Lord, that you will redirect them back, them back we are direct them back in the name of Jesus, that they will serve you in the name of Jesus, that the blessings that you have there, that you have promised shall be ours and our, our, for our household in the name of Jesus. You said you bless us, our children are blessings. There'll be no attachment of sorrow concerning these ones in the name of Jesus. You will contend with those that contend with them and you will save our children. You will save them from every evil. You will save them from the plan of the enemy, whether it be in the school, in the, on the road, at play centers, with child cares, wherever the range of evil that might be presenting, Lord, that you will save and protect them from all this evil, that the satanic agenda will not take hold over their life in the name of Jesus. Our seeds shall thrive, they will be fruitful, they will flourish, they will be buoyant in the name of Jesus. They will do well in the name of Jesus. Father, once again, return all glory unto you for all these children in their community, children in our land, children in our, uh, in our churches or places of learning. We bring them unto you, O God, and we say, Father, let your mercy be upon them, O God. Bless them and let it be well with all our children. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank I you. I appreciate all this um, wealth of knowledge. And I'll just do a quick recap on some of the things he has said, that we should not, as parents or guidance, we should not let down our guard. We should constantly show interest in our children, ask for help. As parents, we don't know everything, but ask God for help. We should, um, and then when situations arise, we should do something now. Now, we, should, we need to take action. And then we should have good communication and rapport with our children and also, um, we should never accept defeat, no matter the, the um, circumstances of that child, whether in any form of life, education or emotional or whatever, never accept, accept defeat. You have a, the manufacturer's manual, which is the Bible, the word of God that you can always refer to, or even the manufacturer himself, the person that gave you that child, who is God, to go back and act that what. Well, uh, to ask for help and also you do not ignore signs in your child's life you um whatever you know sometimes children are you can see that a child can just withdraw all of a sudden that means that something somewhere has gone wrong you need to find out and also you should also know that children try to copy their peers due to um, peer pressure they try to copy what is trending or what their friends are doing and we should always Pray that our children are surrounded by godly influence and also ask um, our children questions. Most of the time when you ask them questions, they either evade the question or ignore you, but always ask questions. At least when you are asking, you find out what, what's in their mind and then you should always be aware of what they are doing at certain times and um, know who is influencing your child, know what your child's interest is and in situations, be quick to act. Don't let um, things get out of hand. You know, um, in that scenario, they did not act um, with the um, um, boy, the teenager in the house. So we need, we need, we need to act fast and not just um, put things under under the um, carpet. And then you need to prioritize your child's need. Yes, you are doing your nine to five. You have this to consider. You have that to consider. But don't forget that child too. 
as more as young as they are they to have parents uh, they have needs they have needs they have emotional physical um all, all sorts as they are human beings so they do have needs so you need to prioritize their own needs too and then we need to teach them about dangers of um, substance misuse and then um let them know not say it in a way that's condemning but for them to be aware to understand why you are saying what you're saying and also we should be aware of um um people older people using uh, vulnerable children for to uh, for um, for their own um, vices like they know that if they send uh, give um pass some um, illegal stuff to children nobody will suspect and that children that child can uh can get away with it whereas a old uh, a, a adults would not be able to so we need to um, be a, uh, be wise so that people are not using our, ch our children to um, perpetrate evil and also that at times like this that we have so many things contending with our children's attention you have the social media social media in itself is not bad but there are some good and bad influence around it so you need to be careful you need to be careful and then uh, children should not be ignored you should um acknowledge their feelings their contribution to the to the house even what they say even if it doesn't make sense still acknowledge what they are saying and try to understand them and then when when things get out of hand don't condemn deal with the situation at hand and then um I, sorry i wrote a lot and then don't give up no matter what is going on in that child's life, don't give up. And their support system, like your school, get to know who your child's um, tutor or teacher is, what they do in school, um, their grades, um, their interests, and everything concerning them. And then also as parents, we don't know everything. Sometimes we, we hear um, parents saying, ah, when I was in my time, when I was your age, da, 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 da. But we don't know everything so as so always be open to our children i just and then to also do things in love so it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot when we were uh, when he was preparing for this he said oh i don't have anything to say but i can see given the time will have gone on and on and on and on so um although you see we are so grateful for your um wealth of um wisdom and also all those things that you've um, pointed out and one thing he said is that these things are things that we some of us are quite familiar with but there's a reason for us to revisit things because you might think oh i know that child but you don't know what that child is going through at that stage because these are developmental stages for each child they are growing they are getting to be adults now they have their way of thinking they have um, their way of doing things so we don't just assume that oh it's just a um, killing i know him i know i know you don't because they are evolving like from a caterpillar to a butterfly to now start um spreading their wings so we need to be um aware of what our children are doing so thank you very much we are so grateful god bless you and more um anointing and more wisdom in everything that you do now does anyone have any question or um comment or addition they would like to say please feel free feel free to say anything or ask questions or even if it's a prayer point that we maybe we've not um put in please um raise it and then we'll pray because we are we are, we are also here to pray the scenario and the awareness is just for us to be to to, to um to 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 be aware to be knowledgeable to know what's going on around us even if it's not happening with our children it's happening with other children that our children will uh, that will come in the way of our children that will influence them and we need to know what to do so if you have any questions or um contributions please do um do um speak now none okay all right um we are still within time so it's your well, uh, thank you everyone for joining is the wholesome parenting community hub where we um know that it takes a whole community to raise just a child it's not just one person raising the child because you can do it yourself that's why we have teachers we have a um, parents, grandparents, and all these people that contribute to the well-being of the child. And um, we are on social media where we um, upload our videos 
and also um, upcoming events. So please do feel free to um, visit, um, follow us on um, those um, channels and um, God bless you as you do. Tomorrow we'll be having the final session, which is on um, children because we've been doing, we've done the young adults, we've done the teenagers yesterday. So next, tomorrow will be um, children, but the time is different. 10 a.m. London time or GMT time and um, 11 a.m. Germany or um, Nigerian time. So please do join. I know some of us, Saturday is a very relaxing time for us or busy time, but please do take um, just this one hour to join us. Let's come together to pray for our children our teenagers and our young adults. And if you've missed yesterday's video, it is on um, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, Awesome Parenting Community Hub, um, social media. Please do um, have a uh, watch the video. And we'll also try to post this one too. Thank you and God bless. I will see you.